Let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys and sufferings on this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins for the intentions of all my relatives and friends and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. Let us pray for the intention of the Pope for the month of November. Children who suffer. We pray for children who are suffering especially those who are homeless, orphans and victims of war. May they be guaranteed access to education and the opportunity to experience family affection. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear friends, the Word of God welcomes you this morning. And as we gather in the presence of the Lord, we offer to the Lord all our worries, all our troubles. We offer to Him everything that holds us back, everything that prevents us from journeying with Him. We place before the Lord all the challenges, all the obstacles that we may face in life. And we ask the Lord to be with us to accompany us during the most difficult moments of our lives. And today we shall reflect on Psalm 27. We shall read the Psalm, we shall meditate on it and we shall try to see what we can take from this Psalm and make it personal. How the Psalm can indeed be a guide for our life and for our actions and activities today. So the Psalm 27 goes like this. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers assail me to devour my flesh, my adversaries and foe, they shall stumble and fall. And here we see that today's Psalm tells us about the difficulties that we may face in life, the challenges that we may encounter. And we see that when we are committed to the word of God, when we become followers of Jesus, the number of challenges will increase because we see that the gospel values are in opposition to the values that the world propagates. And therefore, these challenges, these uh, persecutions are in a way quite common. And therefore today's psalm tells us that when our hope is in the Lord, when our trust is in the Lord, there is no reason for us to be afraid. The psalm continues, Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war rise up against me, yet I will be confident. 
one thing i asked of the lord that will i seek after to live in the house of the lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the lord and to inquire in his temple for he will hide me in his shelter in the day of trouble he will conceal me under the cover of his tent he will set me high on a rock and this in itself should give us hope and confidence that when we are faced with difficulties when there are trials and temptations when there are challenges in our lives the lord will always be there he will be there to guide us to protect us and more importantly he will show us the right path he will indicate to us the necessary action and steps that we need to take in order to help ourselves the psalm continues now my head is lifted up above my enemies all around me and i will offer in his tent sacrifices and shouts of joy i will sing and make melody to the lord hear o lord when i cry aloud be gracious to me and answer me come my heart says seek his face your face lord do i seek and here we see that we need to thank the lord we need to praise him for all that he has done for us very often we somehow forget to thank the lord we somehow neglect or we don't pay attention to this part and therefore we need to tell the lord that indeed we are grateful for all that he has done for us because he never abandons us he is always there watching over us and guiding us in the right possible direction and the psalm continues do not hide your face from me do not turn your servant away in anger you who have been my help do not cast me off do not forsake me o god of my salvation if my father and mother forsake me the lord will take me up once again words of encouragement even though those who are very close to us even our near and dear ones even if they betray us even if they deceive us we see that the lord will not do that he will never abandon us and this is a message that is strongly felt not only in the psalms but also in the gospel passages where jesus says that if you remain in the faith and love not even one hair of your body will be touched and therefore this assurance is something that we can always treasure in our hearts and this assurance in itself will give us the strength and the courage to face challenges in life and the psalm continues teach me your way o lord and lead me on a level path because of my enemies do not give me up to the will of my adversaries for false witnesses have risen against me and they are breathing out violence i believe that i shall see the goodness of the lord in the land of the living wait for the lord be strong and let your heart take courage wait for the lord and therefore the psalm ends by telling us to keep our faith and trust in the lord and today as we reflect on this psalm as we meditate on this psalm let us keep these thoughts in mind let us now close our eyes and at this morning hour let us thank the lord let us praise the lord let us glorify the lord for all that he has done for us for all that he is doing and for all that he will continue to do for us in the near future loving father you have given us this time in the morning you have been gracious to us you have given us your son jesus christ who has cleansed us from our sins he has taken away all our sins and he has given us new life lord as you have given us the holy spirit we ask you to bless us and protect us and for this lord we thank you we praise you and we glorify you you have protected us and you have guarded us all through the night 
you have protected us from all harm from all danger and you have given us this morning hour a time where we can spend with you where we can reflect where we can tell you all our difficulties all our sufferings wherein we can openly share with you everything that prevents us from doing the necessary things in life and lord for all this we ask your grace your blessings on us for your great love and mercy o lord we praise you and we thank you o lord you are merciful o lord you have blessed us in so many ways you protect us o lord and we offer you this day and therefore as we thank the lord as we praise the lord for all that he has done for us let us now spend a few moments in silence reflecting on today's psalm let the psalm speak to us and let us take some things from the psalm and apply it to our lives so that we too may be able to live our lives fully devoted to the lord fully committed always perseverant in the faith Pray to Saint Michael the Archangel for protection. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince. of the heavenly host by the power of god thrust into hell satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls amen act of adoration o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Saint Gertrude pray for souls in purgatory. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son Jesus in union with the masses said throughout the world today. for all the holy souls in purgatory for sinners everywhere for sinners in the universal church those in my own home and within my family amen may the divine assistance remain always with us and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen